So the next couple of days will be very busy uh, for me. I am getting ready to be deployed. I will be leaving from JFK, heading to Germany, where we will complete about two weeks of training, and after that, be sent to a military base someplace in Europe to support the troops out there. I was a social worker by profession and a crisis counselor. And then I stayed home to raise my children, my triplets. And when they were babies, Hurricane Katrina hit. And I remember seeing the images on TV of what had happened. And I was devastated. So I made a promise to myself that when my children were old enough and they didn't need me to be around as much, that I was going to volunteer with the Red Cross and actually go and help some of these people that were affected by all these different disasters. There is nothing about my mom that is selfish. She lives and breathes Red Cross and helping people. My first deployment I went on was to Hurricane Florence in North Carolina. And what started out as a two-week assignment as a feeding associate turned into two and a half month assignment as a shelter manager. When my love for deploying and meeting people outside of my comfort zone kept growing, the natural progression was now to go globally. Good luck, Mom. Proud of you. Be safe. Thank you, honey. We look forward to sharing lots of stories and uh, FaceTiming and telling you all about the other side of the world. In 2021, I joined the Greater New York Red Cross as a paid staff as a manager to service to the armed forces and international services for Greater New York. As a mobile specialist, I had to, once in every two years, be deployed to any military installation in the world that where there was a need. When she first mentioned this to me, I was, I had nothing but excitement for her extremely happy for her. This is what she wanted to do. Of course, you know, there is the worry there that we're going to be apart for so long, but you know, I have, as long as I know that she's okay and she's helping other people, then I'm all for it. I always say my, my heart is my superpower and my kryptonite because I am able to empathize with people and truly take the time to understand their situation. And I think because I come from a place of love, I'm able to look for solutions because our, I go back to our mission. Our, our mission states that we want to alleviate the suffering and that's always been my guiding force.